Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Valeria and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading for you that will answer the question, what do they love about you? So we're going to do things a little differently today. So what I have done is I've got the regular pick a card piles. As you can see, there are four of them and I have marked them with these crystals. But we have something special today. I have channeled a letter, a very short letter around three to four sentences max from your person and they are inside these tiny envelopes over here. So these envelopes are a separate part of the reading but please remember the messages in these envelopes will not apply to every single one of you watching this video and I know that for a fact okay. So if you are resonating with these envelopes as in you look at them and one of them just jumps out at you like like really punches you in the face okay something of that kind all right then that letter is meant for you and you can definitely check out the letter i'll put all the timestamps in the description box and everything but yeah but don't pick a letter just because you want to see what message is there because if you are not resonating with it it'll not work for you all right so Anyway, um, so we'll pick up piles now, but before that, I want to quickly let you know that if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information for that is there in the description box below. All right, so I'll tell you the piles. This is pile number one with the carnelian. This is pile number two with the clear quartz. This is pile number three with the rose quartz. This is pile number four with the obsidian bracelet, all right? And for those of you who are resonating with the letters, this is letter one, letter two, letter three, and letter four. All the timestamps will be there in the description box. But first of all, I want you to take in a deep breath. Hold it in for a few seconds. Let it out slowly. Calm yourself down and choose the pile that stands out to you the most. You can also choose a letter, all right? So I'm going to start with pile number one now. And once I finish all four piles, I'll do the letters in the end, okay? Hi pal one, so if you chose the carnelian crystal, let's find out what do they love about you. So I've got a lot of tarot cards today. We have justice. We have the seven of cups. We have the two of wands. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Empress, Five of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords, the Star, the Tower, and finally, the World. Now, I've got these pictures over here. I will not reveal them right now, but these pictures these photo prints have some extra messages but we'll check them out in the end all right so first of all what does your person love the most about you what do they love about you first of all your person really likes the fact that you are a very balanced individual very diplomatic very fair okay actually you are a very black and white kind of person you have very strong principles and uh, you believe that some things are right other things are wrong and you live in a very principled manner okay now of course they can be uh, you know uh, there is a negative side to living in a black and white seeing the world in a black and white manner but that is not the purpose of this reading your person really loves that about you they like that you're very fair 
you treat people equally. You could be a Libra because justice is the Libra card for me. But with the eight, eight number over here, this deck uh, justice is number eight. So you could also be a Scorpio or you could have Jupiter in Scorpio. All right. Now, your person likes that, uh, you know, it's like when people bring the fight, bring a fight to you. Um, and I think there are some people who do that because uh, we have the Empress over here, we have the star over here, we have the world over here. It's like this person really sees you in a very high light. Okay. Your person, your person actually, um, they, they really admire you. They respect you a lot. All right. But we all know that, uh, you know, the higher you vibe, you know, there will be a lot of haters as well because they'll be jealous of you and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, you do attract a lot of people who try to take you down or talk shit about you or like do crazy things or something. All right. And the thing is that you always win in the end. OK, like you are able to take them all down single handedly. All right. Like when people bring the fight to you, you are so smart and you are so balanced on the inside that you always know how to fight back. OK, and in the best manner possible, you are very good with your words. You're very, very intelligent. OK, and uh, yeah that's the energy i'm getting your person thinks that you're a total badass okay uh, your person loves that they can collaborate with you we have the two of wands over here they love that you treat them equally as an equal okay um that they have an equal say in the relationship because you are a very strong person okay pile one you are a very strong person and a lot of times when people have so much uh, such a strong personality it's like they are an alpha individual you are definitely an alpha individual but the problem with that is that sometimes uh, alphas tend to you know uh, they don't do it intentionally all the time but it's like they prefer to be the one who has the final say in every matter but uh, your person really likes the fact that you treat them as their partner okay that you give them an equal say in matters that you are willing to collaborate with them and you two might even work together okay and great things come together when you work okay now your person likes the fact that you are actually a half uh, sorry a glass half full kind of an individual you are a very optimistic so even when things don't go right in your life you always find a way to learn something from the bad experiences or you always find a way to look at the bright side of things and eventually you always win, okay, because of this mindset that you have. And they really, really appreciate the fact that you are so optimistic, okay. Like, for example, if, uh, say, the lights were to suddenly go off, okay, in the entire colony, all right, or the entire city, okay, there's a, you know, uh, uh, there, there's no electricity all right uh, everyone would be cribbing that oh my god what the hell do we do now you would be like oh my god now that the lights are down let's go to the roof and look at the stars because this is the perfect time to see the stars so you always have you look at life in a very different way in a very optimistic way okay and they really love that about you now with the star you could be somebody who is in the limelight um big or small it does not matter your reach does not matter you are an influencer they see you as an influencer you have people around you you could have a posse okay for all i know it's like uh, there are people who really follow you um, especially your fashion um, that i'm getting for a few a few people i really like the way you dress and they actually copy you uh, but yeah they know that you're gonna go very very far in life okay your person sees you as their world okay and uh, what they love about you is that you don't you do not you're not afraid of speaking up speaking the truth even in the presence of people with power okay like uh, if you uh, because you believe in right and wrong okay uh, you believe in equality okay so if 
people are being mistreated or there's a law that is mistreating someone or people are trying to pass a law, the government is trying to pass a law that will really take away people's rights or something, you really speak up for it. And it, it's not just that you do it in such a large scale, even in your day-to-day -day life, it's like if you are working in a, you're working in the corporate environment and your boss does something that is really wrong, you are not scared. You just speak up and you tell it in front of everybody, okay? And now they have nowhere to hide, okay? And that's why you tear people's false towers down. They really appreciate that about you. You're a very strong person. You bring change, sweeping changes where, wherever you go and good kind of change. It's like you don't tear people down or tear down towers when there's nothing wrong in the situation. You're not a troublemaker. You are somebody who tears down people's egos and, uh, you know, shows them the truth of who they are and their the society they've created or the system they have created when you see that the system is wrong or the person is doing something really wrong. Okay, You are not afraid of people. Your person really admires that about you. Now, with three of pentacles, ah, oh, okay, why did I miss this card? The two of wands over here and the three of pentacles talk about the same thing. Your person really likes that they can collaborate with you. Also, uh, you are in the limelight, like I'm getting over here, some kind of a talent you have, uh, a creative talent or some kind of skill, okay? For some of you, you actually work with your hands. You could be sculptors or you could be carpenters or uh, you could be painters. It doesn't matter. Like um, that is just an example. Uh, but yeah, you're good with your hands. Uh, but you are very skilled at what you do and people come to you for your expertise. Uh, people like to collaborate with you and your person especially loves the fact that they can collaborate with you. Okay, So your person does not just see you as somebody so incredible okay uh, and of course with the empress over here your person really sees you as the ultimate woman okay or if you're not a woman they see you as this really feminine person who's really beautiful really glamorous really nurturing and caring as well okay and uh, for some of you this like i think for most of you your person actually sees you as wife material all right they would like to have a kid with you now Let's look at these cards, okay? So we have, ha, huh, very interesting. So in this picture, there's this girl who looks like a cat, okay? I, I'm not sure whether you can see very clearly, but um, so she looks like a black cat, okay? And uh, she's got a handout, okay? As in the stop, uh, just, she's gesturing someone to stop, okay? So it's like this, card is talking about you having really strong boundaries you do not take bullshit from people you will not let people walk over you you will if someone brings the fight to you you're gonna beat them down the right way in a very strong way not and in a very calm and composed way that too okay and you always win in the end so you have some cat-like traits okay like uh, you could be an introvert um, your person really likes that you're very independent and they love the fact that you have got strong boundaries. Now, in this card, let me see what is it that I am. Okay, stinging nettle is standing out to me. Okay, just give me a sec. Support. The word support is standing out. All right. So your person really likes the fact that you really support them and their dreams. Okay. So yes, you have your own thing, but you're not like there are a lot of people who are in the limelight who are so insecure that they would never want uh, other people around them to share the limelight. Okay, but you're not like that. Okay, you are like there's more than enough fame for everybody in the world. Okay, so if I'm famous does not mean that you have to be obscure. So your person supports your dreams. Um, sorry, you support your person's dreams. And that's why your person really loves that about you and we also have the stinging nettle over here so yeah you again the thing about having boundaries is coming through so if people don't respect your boundaries you take them down you do not let people bullshit you you are a badass woman okay badass woman man it doesn't matter you're a badass person and your person really really loves that about you and with this woman over here with uh, it's like she's got a different face all right 
and it's like you it's like the it's i'm connecting this picture to the tower card over here so this card is telling me that when people pretend to be one thing around you you are so good at seeing through people that like when someone's pretending to be something that they are not you just tear their mask apart you tell them on the face that i know that you are bullshitting people and you should not be doing that or something similar okay you tear people's mask apart apart like for example this woman over here she's pretending to pretending to be a victim or she's pretending to be oh my god what the hell did you do to me uh, being very dramatic and all of that stuff but deep inside she's a conniving individual okay so you reveal that thing about people you if you see someone who's pretending to be all noble and kind and amazing and shy and everything but you know that this person does not have good intentions you tear their mask apart and you show people who they truly are your person really loves that about you that yeah you bring change wherever you go and i think people are kind of scared of you because of this ability <laughs> but this is really cool man so like uh, pile one that's pretty much all i have for you today if you like this reading hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments and if you have chosen a letter you can now check the you know check it out the timestamp is there in the description box also like i said uh, if you would like a private reading with me all the information for that is there in the description box below now if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe but that's pretty much it for you pile number 1 i hope you have a great day ahead and i'll see you next time bye bye Hey pal two so if you chose the clear chose the clear quotes let's find out what do they love about you so i've got all these tarot cards i've got the emperor i have the hierophant the daughter of wands in reversed a page of swords four of cups judgment Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Now I'm going to be revealing these cards later. They are images, and they'll give me more information about what your person loves about you. Okay, so okay, let me soak it in. All right your person loves the fact that you are a very good leader okay you're very strong very capable a very good provider okay you're very self sufficient and uh, people really look up to you they really like that you have a very strong public uh, presence uh, as in you could have a job uh, in which uh, you deal with the public you could be a public servant or something of that kind uh, but you actually are somebody who people have a very high opinion of okay and your person really likes that about you they admire you okay i i'm getting the feeling that your person is more like a fan okay so i don't know who you were thinking of when you uh, you know chose this pile but yeah your person is a is is like your person in the simplest of ways i can i can put it that your person is your fan all right uh your person uh, also likes the fact that you um don't give in to authority figures um when they don't make sense because you yourself are an authority figure okay does not matter whether you're young or old especially if you're young and you have not really climbed the ladder of success yet your person still sees you as a leader you have this potential and you will get very go very far in life because we have the emperor over here and with the hierophant over here it's like because you are an authority figure yourself you do not appreciate people uh trying to tell you what to do with your life okay you don't appreciate that uh you speak up when you feel that the assist the system is broken you could be a life path number 1 all right you are definitely a very strong leader you bring change but good kind of change you change the systems whenever you are given the opportunity to lead a group 
or be a part of uh, be uh, or head a system you bring a lot of changes in that system okay you create new rules your person really likes that about you they your person thinks you are a very wise individual you stand out from the crowd people are quite intimidated by your presence in your presence they are quite intimidated and uh, your person likes that about you too now we have a seven of wands uh, over here and a seven of pentacles so you definitely are somebody who is there like whatever age you might be you are somebody who is uh, at a at a higher position okay and there are people who are quite jealous of you because of that and they try to take you down but they don't succeed and the reason why they don't succeed is because you're not just you have not reached this pinnacle or you have not reached the top because of your personality because a lot of people have very strong personalities but they don't have substance but in your case that is not the case you actually are somebody who has a very strong personality but you also have lot of substance you work very hard and you care for your work you could be a workaholic i'm getting workaholic vibes over here yeah you um, your person really really appreciates that about you that you put in the work and you're very patient you allow things to unfold in its sweet time you don't try to force something to go faster than it can all right so you're very very wise now with the reverse daughter of wands over here and the page of swords okay okay all right um so with the reverse daughter of wands over here it's like your person okay i'm going to say it in a very pg13 way but your person is so sexually attracted to you that every time they see you oh my god your person like like just wants to um yeah like you know what i'm talking about they want to have it with you they want to make love to you but making love is the pg13 version of what i'm talking about okay uh yeah like they have so much passion for you and yeah you have that same kind of passion okay so it's like you match their passion and they really really like that about you so yeah your person is very very sexually attracted to you um and with the page of swords over here you it's like you're a full complete package okay it's like you're very you're a very charming person okay you're very charming your person really likes that you could be a gemini you could be a gemini all right um like the signs are not important but i'm getting strong gemini vibes um you have a youthful appearance even if you're quite old uh you're uh, you look younger than what you actually are okay and uh, you're very quick with your words you're very quick witted also your person really likes the fact that whenever they are feeling low you always know what to do to cheer them up um you're very caring that way but also not in a very in your face kind of way you're like you somebody who's capable of giving people space but you also like i'm there if you need me okay so your person really appreciates that about you yeah they really like the fact that whenever they are low you're feeling low they're feeling sad you always are there to cheer them up now judgment okay i'm going to talk about this later uh two of wands and the queen of wands okay so you are a very creative person very creative it's like when you walk into a room people take notice of you okay you could be a musician you might have some musical talent but it doesn't like have to be you are somebody who is who has a very uh, you could be an aries too okay yeah because the emperor is also an aries card and the uh, ram horns are standing out over here in this picture so you could be an aries uh, the signs are not that important but yeah you are a go getter basically and yeah your person is your fan <laughs> like yeah straight out they are your fan they love your they love your work they love your the love the way you put yourself out there 
they love how dignified you are and yeah they they really like how you carry yourself like like i told you earlier this person really likes how you conduct yourself in public so that's there now with the two of wands your person your person loves that you want to conquer the world you want to leave your mark on the world before you die you want to leave behind a solid legacy and it's like your person and you're already doing that okay you're well off on your way and you're you have a very slow and steady approach if not a slow and steady it's like you're very patient okay you are passionate about your work and you put in the hours and you work for it okay like you put in the uh, work you have substance not just personality and that's why a person knows that you will actually make a name for yourself before you die and they really love that about you they love that you have such a big dream and you know without a shadow of a doubt that it will come true and it will because your person can always see that it is coming true okay little by little it is coming true now i'm going to reveal the cards now so we have okay all right let's see yeah you could be a social media influencer uh on facebook yeah i think that is for some of you your person likes that you belong to a very colorful family like your family has a lot of characters in it okay like uh the people in your family the extended family there are a lot of uh, like there's there's a funny person uh a funny aunt a uh, eccentric uncle a talkative a mom and uh, like love, like different kinds of people in your family and it's like uh, your person really likes your family okay but your person also feels a little judged by your family sometimes yeah your person feels a little judged judged by your family sometimes maybe your person does not have as strong of a personality as you have and maybe all the other people in your family are just as strong as you are because obviously it's like the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree right so you have a strong personality because your family also has one so the people in your family and yeah so your family could like really think that your person is kind of like a little dormatish or something i'm not sure okay but yeah that is there and your person really likes the fact that you keep changing your style you um, you experiment with yourself okay um experiment with your appearance uh you might be into haircuts and hairstyles different kinds of hairstyles you keep changing your hairstyle you get braids one day you chop off your hair the other um you could be coloring your hair there's something about the hair that is standing out over here um yeah and you are you aren't doing it for like likes or anything on social media you're doing it because it, you really enjoy it and it's like ha huh, okay i'm feeling bored with the way i've been dressing for the last few months so i want to change so i'm going to do it and you just go and do it all right so it's not because you're doing it for to please other people or to stand out you don't need to stand out you just stand out by default okay and your person really likes that uh that you don't change your appearance because you want to attract people or like you know you care about people's opinions or something you just do it because it's something that you do okay you just like it all right <laughs> it's a part of your personality maybe you're very nonchalant about it because you've been doing it for like all your life changing your wardrobe or changing the way you look all the time you just keep overhauling yourself all the time and uh and that's why it's like second nature to you and you don't pay that much attention to it but to an outsider who has not known you for all your life because you have known yourself for all your life right so this person they have known you for less a period of time right so it just amazes them that you're able to do it so nonchalantly and uh, yeah with the the crystal uh, the clear quartz over here i think your person also loves the fact that you're very transparent okay you don't beat around the bush yeah you could be somebody who is a public speaker whatever you say has an impact on people your person really likes that your person is your fan okay let me just tell you that right now pile 
So yeah, pal two, that's pretty much all I'm getting for you right now. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Also, if you have chosen a letter, you can now go and check it out. But uh, yeah, before you leave, uh, if you would like to book a private reading with me, all the information for that is there in the description box below. So yeah, pile two, I hope you have a great day ahead and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey pile three, so if you chose the rose quartz, let's find out what do they love about you. So we have the two of pentacles, strength, we have father of swords, ace of swords, okay. Then we have seven of cups, ace of cups, five of pentacles, the moon, five of wands and nine of swords okay all right these are some uh, pictures photo prints and they'll give me some extra information about what your person loves the most about you uh, but i'll reveal that in the end okay so let's start with what is it that your person what do they love about you okay first of all the thing that is standing out is this thing. Your person loves how romantic you are. They just love it. Like I am grinning like a total idiot right now. And your person feels that way when you do your all the romantic things that you do. Yeah, your person just loves it. Okay. You could be a Leo or have strong Leo placements in your birth chart. But you are a very strong person, okay? Your person, yeah, your person definitely sees you as the person who is, uh, it's like in your relationship, you are the one who is, who, who tends to call the shots. You are more of the masculine individual in the connection and your person is okay with that, pretty much. Yeah. Now, your person really likes the fact that uh, you are, they love that you're very intelligent, okay? You're very sharp, very, very, very intelligent, okay? Uh, you could be a professor, you could be in the teaching field. You don't have to me, of course, but uh, you are a good teacher as well. And with Ace of Swords over here, I feel that you are somebody who is able to understand uh, the great mysteries of life very easily. You are able to, you can accept people regardless of their race, their gender, their ethnicity, their sexual orientation. You treat people as regular human beings, okay? Everybody is equal to you. And uh, your person really likes that. Also, it's like they love how you wear your freak flag with a lot of pride. Okay. So uh, some of you could definitely be in the LGBTQ community. But for most of you, I feel what this means is that your person loves it, loves that you are who you are. You are very eccentric. You don't modulate yourself for the sake of the world. You don't, you just don't care. You are who you are. And period, okay? If people don't like it, well, you don't care. You really don't. Now, with the, uh, we do have a lot of uh, cards over here, which are talking about strife and struggle and challenges. We have the five of pentacles over here, which is talking about having financial problems, okay? And we also have the two of pentacles over here, which talks about the same. We have the nine of swords over here, which talks about feeling anxious and stressed out that you'll never achieve your dreams. 
if you have the five of wands over here where you feel that there are people obstructing you from achieving whatever it is that you want so we have a lot of challenge cards over here challenging cards on the table but this reading is about what do they love about you so in this particular context what these cards mean is that your person feels that you're so strong and resilient that come what may people may come and you know talk shit about you they may hate on you they may try to obstruct you from achieving what you want they may spread rumors about you they may try they may pay you less than what you deserve or they may like you know like and it's not just people you could uh, face some challenges in life some hardships because we all go through hardships maybe there'll be a financial crisis or something your person really they admire the fact that you are able to bounce back okay that you're very very strong and you see over here there's this infinity symbol over here we have the infinity symbol around the sword as well so it's like regardless of the challenges that life throws your way i feel you're very divinely protected and that's why you're able to bounce back okay you you're able to bounce back very fast your person really loves you we have the ace of cups over here and uh, like your person is very very sexually attracted to you okay so i mean this is uh, kind of like i know this channel is kind of um, i don't i don't like to go into those details or something but this is coming through very strongly i think your person masturbates a lot thinking about you okay like it's there um the whole point is that you really turn them on okay and uh, with the seven of cups over here and the moon i feel your person really fantasizes a lot about you again it's like the main thing that they love about you is the fact that you're very romantic okay uh, i think you're very very good in the bed as well so yeah or if you have not had it with this person yet they like like i said they uh, masturbate a lot thinking about you they fantasize a lot about you and uh, they 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 want to do everything pretty much with you they want to explore the world with you they want to make money with you they want to they want to have a lot of fun with you they want to go to a masquerade party with you masquerade ball all right so if you have not ever been to one with this person definitely plan something all right because that is standing out to me this person wants to go to a masquerade ball and this person really wants something amazing to happen afterwards all right oh my god <laughs> okay all right um so what i'm going to do now is like let's see what pictures we have over here so we have hugs and kisses all right why well, i'm not surprised okay um okay okay let's see what the cards have to say your person wants to marry you yeah your person definitely wants to marry you um your person really likes hugging you and kissing you a lot all right and if you have not if you don't have that kind of a relationship with your person yet uh your person fantasizes about that a lot okay hugs and kisses they really love you a lot okay now with this card over here in front of me this picture where this child is up for sale i feel that you have um like i said there are a lot of challenging cards on the table you have gone through a lot of bad shit in your life okay people who have tried to obstruct you circumstances that were not very favorable financial problems all of that stuff but i also feel that one of those things that really made you such a strong individual was the fact that when you were a kid i think you were very neglected okay you probably felt that your parents did not want you and if they could just put you, put you up for adoption they would have gladly done it but they did not have that option so they treated you just like any of the other possessions like not even the best possessions okay they treated you like the flower and the flower and the you know empty bottles and all of that stuff the junk in their home okay so your 
parents did not treat you very well okay your childhood was not a very good one and because of that it's like whereas some people become victims you became you found strength in a dark place all right and that's why you're so resilient and so tough okay like nothing phases you because you have trained yourself and it's like you're protected divinely guided okay so it's not again over here there's another infinity so there are three infinity symbols over here i feel you could be a scorpio leo is there definitely on the table um aquarius libra gemini is also coming through but more so leo and scorpio very strong leo and scorpio energy over here uh but the whole point is that we are you're very resilient and your person knows your story and they are really amazed by it you amaze the amaze them your resilience amazes them okay with supreme over here you could really like the brand supreme yeah okay some of you might have a pet snake at home <laughs> okay and i think that's for maybe one or two of you okay um but uh your person as a uh, sees you as a very fashionable person all right so yeah again very strong leo vibes because leos are uh like very fashionable people all right so you don't have to be a leo but the energy is definitely there all right you have that energy even if you are not a leo okay and uh, your person loves your fashion sense but yeah you could be a fan of supreme okay um yeah is there anything else that i'm getting from these cards no no that's pretty much it so pile number 3 if you enjoyed this reading hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe Also if you're looking for a private reading with me all the information for that is then the description box below now if you've picked a letter you can now jump to that time stamp and read your letter okay but yeah i'll see you next time bye bye hey pal fo so if you chose this obsidian bracelet let's find out what your person loves about you we have eight of swords we have daughter of cups five of wands 10 of cups the hermit i'm going to keep this aside reverse six of swords queen of swords the high priestess the devil four of cups ten of swords page of cups okay i'm going to reveal these cards in the end they are photograph prints and uh, they'll give me more information about what your person loves about you okay so let me just arrange the cards a bit over here okay right all right okay so pile number 4 first of all with the high priestess over here and the page of cups i think that you have some psychic talents you could definitely be somebody um your intuition is very very strong okay you might have these clair gifts uh, especially clairvoyance you could be a clairvoyant you could be somebody who uh, see has prophetic dreams or be capable of astral travel some some psychic gift you definitely have some kind of a psychic gift and your person knows about it okay and your person really loves that about you um they love how connected you are to your um what do you say you are very connected to your intuition and we have the hermit over here both the high priestess and the hermit are people who don't like the crowd that much very introverted energy because you need introverted energy you need to be alone to actually uh learn from life 
to learn from spirit from occult subjects uh, and uh, all of that stuff and uh, yeah your person they see you as somebody who's very wise you have information that most people in the world don't and they really love that about you you're very wise and you don't keep your knowledge only to yourself you share it with the world and they really really admire that about you okay with the reverse six of swords this person could be somebody um who was an ex and who has come back into your life or this person is actually thinking of coming back into your life right now and with the queen of swords over here again they see you as somebody very in, as somebody who's very intelligent okay you could be an aquarius not required but uh, yeah you are a very very intelligent person you're very good at debates your person likes talking to you a lot you are you expand their mind when they speak to you um now with the uh, the four of cups over here four of cups over here your person like again that thing is coming through that you like your alone time a lot you like taking time out and uh, you're quite mysterious okay your person loves the mystery but they also want to really know what you do when you are away from them when you are like um spending time by yourself and uh, if they could they would like spy on you they totally would spy on you if they could okay but yeah this person really wants to know what you do when you are on your uh, like uh, during your alone time your person sees you as family okay you bring a lot of joy into their life they want you to be a part of their family for some of you this person when i say they want you to be a part of the family they actually want to marry you and with the devil over here this person could be a karmic connection or this person yeah okay i'm getting a few messages over here this person uh, if they're an ex or somebody who you're thinking of somebody who is not in contact with you right now this person really wants to come back into your life they really love you they're very uh, it's like they feel tied to you and there is a very strong karmic connection between the two of you that's why it is there but they're also afraid of this connection they are afraid of setting themselves free because they know that if they were to come to you they will have to change because you are a change maker we have the five of wands over here okay the daughter of cups and the page of cups are the same cards okay and yeah sorry i got sidetracked so this person is has a uh, very strong feelings for you they are very obsessed with you okay they are they are really obsessed with you and for some of you yeah if they could they could be stalking you for all i know okay this person like they really want to know what you're up to they could be stalking you on social media all right um yeah but now with the daughter of cups over here again it's like you uh, you could be a cancer scorpio pisces because a lot of strong water energy over here as well um and uh, you definitely have some psychic talents okay you are somebody who uh, appears uh, it's like you don't reveal much about what's going on in your life but they know that there's a lot going on below beneath the surface just like a duck over here the duck will look very calm but underneath the surface their legs are just paddling away very fast right so you don't really know what's going on because you can't see it right so yeah that is your energy that this person can't really see what's up with you and you it's not just this person you don't show what's up with you to anybody pretty much you're very closed off uh you're very guarded that way and yes that your person loves the fact that you're so mysterious they want to peel the layers and find out more about you that's what really draws them in they really want to know more about you but you're so guarded because you have had experiences in the past where people have like um 
treated you badly or they have leaked your secrets or something yeah so you're quite guarded that way plus you have very strong boundaries so you don't again i'm getting very strong into introverted energy over here so you could be an introvert and that's why you don't like interacting with so many people you don't need so many people in your life you like your company and like your, you like your own company and that's why the people you interact with the people you who are part of your inner circle there are very few of them but they are very very good people it's like those are the people who you trust and they have proven that they are worthy of being in your inner circle okay they have proven that they'll have your back all right yeah now with the five of wands over here you could have had a fight with this person and this person really wants to solve that fight with you I'm also getting Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo. Now let's look at the cards and see what other messages I'm getting. So, yeah, okay. Your person thinks you are a very intense individual. Okay, <laughs> you stand out from the crowd in a way that you know, like. You are at the edges of the crowd. You don't like to be a part of the crowd, but you still stand out. You have got this very intense energy, this red over here. It's like they're very, very strongly attracted to you. Like um, they're very sexually attracted to you, okay? There's something very edgy about you that this person really, really likes. Yeah. Now with the people in frame, okay, just give me a few seconds, let me, let me see, there are these three cars that are still left over here, let me see what messages I'm getting. You could wear specs, okay. You're somebody who really understands people, okay? You're good to talk. You're good at talking to pretty much anybody, and your person loves that about you. Yeah, you can talk to pretty much anybody, and uh, you're very creative, very artistic. It's like when I'm looking at this picture over here, it's like people in a frame. So we're thinking, talking about boxed people inside boxes, okay? People who don't fit in boxes because a lot of the faces are smashed, okay? So it's like your person feels that you are kind of um, like there's a lot to you that you're not revealing, okay? That you have a lot to give to the world but you're trapping your own self, all right? Because you're so afraid. Um, you are protected by an angel. You have a guardian angel that is coming through. Now, this has got nothing to do with your person, but uh, the, this is a message for you. You have a guardian angel. So yes, your life is not exactly very rosy right now because that's why we have the Ten of Swords over here. Things are not going very well. Um, you, uh, you feel very defeated by life, okay? You're very stressed out, there are people attacking you or like things are going on that's pretty much taking a huge toll on you. But your guardian angels, they want to, your guardian angel wants to let you know that you are protected and you don't have to be scared because you can you just have to take one step at a time and you will get out of the situation and you will finally find yourself on firmer land firmer ground you will be able to overcome this challenge because your guardian angel is protecting you and that is a message that's coming through for you it's got nothing to do with your person okay it's a very separate message that's coming through because I feel that you are, are feeling very trapped right now. 
you're very boxed in very uh you're afraid of showing yourself to the world okay we have two pages over here pages also talk about very fresh energy very youthful energy so you could be very inexperienced and uh, it could be somebody who's quite young uh, also we we have this uh, butterfly cocoon over here okay and butterflies are quite fragile but your garden angel wants to let you know that it's perfectly okay for you to come out one step at a time just take one step at a time you will be fine you are protected nothing's going to happen to you okay yeah so yeah that's pretty much all i'm getting for you pile number 4 if you enjoyed this reading also wait 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 before you go another message just came through the obsidian uh, the crystal right obsidian is a very powerful protective crystal all right so if you feel as if like uh, you need protection you can definitely wear an obsidian bracelet like this or have a obsidian point a point will look something like this all right but you can get one obsidian point and wear it around your neck or something yeah um but yeah so that is there okay but have faith you you are protected all right So yeah, pile four. That's all I'm getting for you. If you like this reading, hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Um, also, if you would like a private reading with me, all the information for that is there in the description box below. And if you have chosen a letter, you can now go and check out that letter before you go. But yeah, that's pretty much it for you, pile four. I hope you have a great day ahead, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. So if you choose the first letter let's find out what your person has to say to you but I'll repeat if you just chose for the heck of it this message may not resonate with you okay okay ever since you left my life has been lonely i want to come back to you but you have blocked me out everywhere tell me love what do i do You are so busy living your life, and here I am, all alone. So that's your letter from your person. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next letter now. This is letter number two. Let's find out what your person has to say about you. Okay. Okay who are you to tell me i haven't been living my life who are you to think you can come between me and my family you wanted to be free now be free and don't come back okay wow so yeah your person is quite mad at you whoever chose letter 2 your person is quite mad at you but i think your person um has some ego problem i'm getting that very strongly and maybe that's why you left them because they did not take a stand for you or they chose their family over you or they were not willing to have your back or something yeah it could be that and if that is the case let me just tell you that you're pretty much better off alone than with this individual okay now let's find out what letter 3 has to i mean what's there for the people who chose letter 3 wait yeah okay so this is the only poem out of all four letters okay fire fire everywhere you broke my heart without a care you stomped it on the ground and left and now i am all broken You took the magic inside of me and now I'm all sparkless. Do you remember the day we spoke surrounded by people but still alone? Not that we were ever alone. They were listening keenly. So yeah, that's your letter number 
and move on to letter 4 now. Letter 4. Let's find out what your person has to say. I am out of balance. I don't know what to do. I'm in love, but I'm afraid of admitting it. I want to come back to you, but I'm stuck. There are too many people preventing me from coming to you. So, yeah, that's letter four. Um, so, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.